A viewer sent us this picture, appalled by what he saw in front of St. Louis County Officer Michael Coletti's house during February's snowstorm. The officer's squad car sits in the driveway not far from a black flag, a flag that represents the three percenters, an anti-government militia group the FBI has linked to the January 6th attack on the nation's capital and other acts of domestic terrorism. The frustration that I have with um, this kind of incident is that there are an awful lot of good officers out there trying to do the right thing by community. Karen Oresti is with the St. Louis chapter of the Anti-Defamation League. Every time one of these incidents happens, it's kind of like death by a thousand uh, you know, pin, pin pricks to undermine what is, unfortunately in this region, pretty fra fragile territory. A little background on the flag. There are 13 red stars that form a circle around the Roman numeral three, along with the year 1776. It reads, when tyranny becomes law, rebellion becomes duty. It symbolizes the claim that only 3% of people in the 13 colonies overthrew the British in the Revolutionary War, a false claim that has fueled a political movement. So right now, the three percenters arguably are fighting an illegitimate United States government, not a British government. A simple Google search brings up images of Officer Coletti's flag. The department says he took it down voluntarily. The police union says he was ordered to take it down. But both agree Officer Coletti didn't know about the group's extremist views until he was told about them recently. That is something Karen Oresti finds hard to believe. You kind of have to be under a rock not to know that there's something out of place with that. Coletti is in good standing with the police department. Recent Facebook posts show the 23-year veteran officer receiving a letter of appreciation from the Marine Corps and attending a groundbreaking ceremony with Chief Barton earlier this week. Here he is pictured just to her right. Officer Coletti declined our request for an interview. Don't police officers have First Amendment rights? We're talking about people charged with protecting and serving. We're talking about optics. And yes, optics matter. Thursday, a thin blue line flag hung there instead. That flag is symbolic of the line police officers form to protect the innocent from the evil. For the I-Team, Christine Byers, five on your side. The Ethical Society of Police, which represents primarily black officers, issued a statement calling for the officer's termination. The statement reads in part, Days ago, the FBI warned of planned violence in Washington, D.C. from the three percenters on March 4th. Yet this officer believes it's acceptable to fly a flag supporting an extremist group with members who have a violent and racist ideology. You can read much more about this story in Christine's weekly column, Buyer's Beat, on KSDK.com.